And now, 60 seconds with Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde, mm -hmm. hello. Hello. Send a text or call on the phone. Text. Why? I don't call. I don't know why it still exists. It makes me nervous. You don't like personal contact with no, human no. beings. No, no. I'm actually a hologram right now. I'm in my hotel suite because I couldn't handle this human interaction. Do an accent or a fake or fake a limp? I think I'd actually be more consistent with an accent. I'm not going to ask you to do an accent because I know you would hate me to do that. Yes, thank you. But I'd like you to do a bad accent. How about a really bad Cockney? Hello, Steve. How you doing? <laughs> really good to see you. Look, Bert Wonderstone. It's incredible. <laughs> That's my Adele impression, actually. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Something is happening to your thanks. mouth when you're doing that. Your chin is actually taking on a completely different structure. <laughs> that guy is incredible. I love that. OK, <laughs> travel with an Irish passport or American passport? I have both. Oh. Everybody loves the Irish. You can really get away with anything with an Irish passport. You mm -hmm. can get arrested. You just show that passport to the cops, and they're like, oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine, Harper. <laughs> pirate cops. <laughs> well, <laughs> only pirate cops, though. <laughs> Irish pirates. Be reincarnated or hang out as a ghost? I'd like to be reincarnated as one of the Obama daughters. It would be hard, because they already have personalities and souls. You'd yeah. like to replace the soul of one of Obama's <laughs> children. Oh, my God. Well, Secret Service are going to I didn't see here. this question ending out that way, but... <laughs> It's true, though. Curse in front of your parents or always keep it clean. I remember the first time I said shit in front of my dad. I was 10. I had forgotten my backpack at school. And I was in the car, and I, I remember so clearly. I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly crashed the car. He was so shocked. Was he He was laughing? like, oh, what? Yeah, he was like laughing, I but because I said it was such like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I left my work. Ah, got to go ah. get my backpack. And now for the incredible Burt Wonderstone questions. I'm Burt Wonderstone. And I'm Anton Marvelson. But of course, you already knew that. Your ticket sales suck. <laughs> what? Steve Gregg, they're calling him the future of magic. This guy's a magician. He doesn't even have a costume. You need to do something fresh. What you do is not magic. It's natural for a dying leaf to be frightened by the autumn wind. Your skin makes me cry. <laughs> Do magic tricks at parties, or I can only do them in movies? I wish I could do them at parties. I think that would be really cool, but I can't. And, and I, I could barely do it in a movie. I think you were fantastic. Thanks, man. Time for my final disappearing act. Where did he go? He has gone to a better place. Goodbye, Rance. He's under the bed. I know. Sexier look, Jim Carrey's hair or Steve Carell's hair? OK, guys, we're ready for you. You wear that? Yes. Well, Jim stole my hair. You know, I think that wig was mine. Oh, that was made for you. Look at it. Look at it! Oh. Now look at this! But I remember seeing Jim see the blonde wig and just like pick it up and put it on and then become an entirely different person. And it was one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen. It's a terrible trick to do for children. What if they try and copy you? I'll sue them. It's my trick. This has been 60 Seconds with Olivia Wilde on Cinemax. Thank you, Olivia. You're welcome, Steve. Thank you.